good day how is it going it is dylan here again and welcome back to another blender tutorial now i know you might be wondering why do i keep doing these blender tutorials on my channel now like what happened to all the game video tutorials well um i just i kind of like got um a little bit more into interested in blender like the, i'm doing cycles render right now i'm learning the cycles render thing I've been doing, learning it for like a year now, but like, you know what I mean? Like I'm, I'm finally making things now on my own with my own creation, stuff like this. So I'm kind of, I, I kind of want to just test out to see um, if you guys enjoy my Blender videos. Don't think I'm not going to be doing gaming videos though. I mean, literally, I think my next video is going to be like on Worldcraft or something like that. So don't, don't feel sad about that. But anyways, uh, on to the next thing. Today, we are modeling the most incredible sniper in Call of Duty, I believe the um this is the awp by the way so um i'm just gonna try to make this as fast as i can for modeling i mean i want to make this quick so you guys don't have to follow along so long i'm kind of hoping you guys know how to use the blender interface already on how to use all these settings so i mean i'm guessing you guys do so you know it, it'll, it'll help out if you do so i'll show you guys how to make a nice render and make it look really nice at the end very fast though so anyways uh, I'm just going to be modeling quietly, or being quietly while I just talk over this, so hopefully you guys can follow along, and you can get some tips and tricks, especially on how to make this little circle here, which took me a while to learn, but I finally did it. Um, so this is how you do it. Uh, we're first going to scale this, and uh, usually they tell you to start from, like, you know, like the back or something. I kind of like to start from the front here, like this. Uh, oops, sorry about that. I caps lock. Why do I keep doing caps lock? Let's see. Okay, good. I kind of like to start from the back here, um, like that, and I kind of even want to line it up like that. Now, in low poly, which is exactly what I'm making today, you, you kind of want to make the gun, uh, like, pretty standard. Not too many turns or, or curves on it, just a basic standard gun. And here's a great example. Um, here, I'm actually going to... No, it's fine. Uh, what you like to do is you like to take the, to the curves like this, and you see how you, they kind of, like, don't match up right? So all you would do is you just... You got a loop cut and slide there, and maybe a loop cut here, and then just make the turn like that. It kind of adds a little bit more detail, but it's, it's fine. We'll just leave it like that. Um, what I'm going to do, though, is I am going to grab this and bring it down like that. And then you kind of want to just extrude this out, or don't extrude anything, just bring it out like this. And now see how it cuts down here? Let's do that. Like that. Boom. Bring this down like this. We can actually just put it where the clip is. That's not really a big deal. We kind of want to just get the basic shape of the guns for the moment like this. Just get the, the simple shape. You want to just bring it out like that. Just looks like this, but we're, we're getting there. We're just getting a simple shape. And then this will be different parts of the gun to build something like this. So we'll, we'll actually just loop cut here. And then we'll take this and this, and then we'll just bring that up. Now, um, what I have been doing was I have been looking into, um, I, or, you know, I kind of, if you guys have a little, can help me out on something here. I've been looking into a gaming PC from uh, Digital Storm, I think it's called. Um, if you guys have one, let me know because I'm, I'm kind of interested in getting one. Um, but I, I, they only have like three choices for a decent price range. I mean, I didn't realize computers can be so expensive. Usually I'm the kind of guy that buys a computer, uh, what is it, um, with just the standard features, like nothing too incredible or brand new or anything like that. So now you can basically kind of see we have the shape of the gun already. But uh, yeah, so as I was saying, that's that's kind of what I like to do. Just I'm a standard kind of guy. I like to buy computers that are just standard style, non-customized, things like that. The computer I'm currently using, though, was a used computer. Not that I bought from somebody. I was it was actually given to me as a gift. It was a couple of years old, um, but it's it runs like a boss. I mean, this is on Mac. This Blender is on Mac right now, so it it runs incredible. It had some upgrades. It has a really nice graphics card added to it, and uh, uh, I I really don't know what graphics card it is. It's one of the huge ones, though. The ones that like pff, monster graphics card, which I love. It really makes the rendering fast uh, in the the. Uh, what is it, the game engine as well as for, you know, audio production and movie video editing production. It's a, it's a production computer. It's what it is. It's, it's standard. I kind of like to think of, uh, oh, sorry about that. If I hit the microphone there. I kind of like to think of Mac computers as more production style 
computers where they they're more made f or you know what I think they're more made for is video editing and things like that. I'm just kind of bringing this up like that a little a little bit. You just want a standard design here, guys, just like this. See, it, it kind of looks ugly right now, but you'll see it'll look better. Uh, you want basic loop cuts because we're making a low poly gun. We're not trying to make a gun that's you know going to compete with Call of Duty. Just a low poly design. So bring this like this. Kind of want to bring this up a, l a little bit like that, and then just pull this this way. Pull this kind of like that. You know, you know what I'm saying? See, it looks it looks it looks decent. You can kind of see how the circle here it uh, it's not that even. It's kind of like an oval straight shaped circle with a square here. There's not really a shape you can model off of it unless you use the was it the boolean tool? I'm not too sure. I don't like to use that tool so much because um, I I just rather just do this. I if you saw in some of my videos, I just take the knife, cut here, cut there, cut there. You kind of just you bring it down to each vertice. It'll, it'll actually kind of do it for you, even though it's not great. I, I know there's a way to change that to make it more editing the way you want. Um, but for now, this this will work like just like this. And you can see it's only on one side. The cut was only made to one side, which is not, it's not good. But, uh, it, you know, it, it'll do. So what we'll do is we'll take this. And we'll actually just take both sides and just delete them. Just delete both sides. And then take the knife again and kind of follow along where you left off. Just, just kind of follow along here like this. I'm not too sure if this is cutting into the same place we just did or if it's cutting the other side. I'm not... Not too sure. Did it do that? No, see? Exactly what I thought. It didn't do that. Uh, there's actually another way to do this. Let's see here. I did 1.5. Is it? Okay, so 1.5. There's another view for this. I'm trying to think. Is this. Let's go to view left. No? View from the back. Yep, there you go. So there's that's the view there. So we'll, now we'll take the knife and then we'll do the same thing here. See how it's not kind of following along as much? Like this. There we go. Just follow along as you did. Just try to make it a little bit more natural. Like this. And you could just do the mirror modifier and that could, you know, just make your gun look really great from one side and the other. But, uh... Mm. We probably don't want that. Let's just take this. Let's scale it on the Y. It, it, I kind of it thinks. I think it looks ugly like this right now. It's like that. See how the gun looks really nice now. Like it, <clears throat> it has a decent uh, whole thing here. And since the cuts are kind of unique or equal, <clears throat> they'll, they'll match up uh, quite evenly with each other like this. So yeah, see that one was messed up wrong. That's that's why I kind of like to do one at a time like this. Just do bundles of short bursts of uh, of the grabs here. So this is an interesting grab. It's it's not even. See, that's not even. So we're just gonna take these two and then just do that. And then this one and this one. Do that. It's better not to take a shortcut when you do uh, this kind of thing. Now you you might be looking at my thing and you kind of wonder. There's a little bit of ambient occlusion added to that. It's just because I have a screen space ambient occlusion right now on. So there you go. So there's the little uh, hole for your thumb for the gun. And just like this, you can already see we already have a nice gun going on here. So now let's finish it up here. Uh, now there's a train, of course, passing. Let's take this. Let's bring this down. It doesn't really affect the shape or look of the gun. Uh, we're going to do a loop cut and slide here. And then we're going to actually take, the, uh, take that and bring this up. And then what we're going to do is we're going to just take this exact vertice, and then we're just going to bring that up, like to here, like that, right to where it's straight, and then this, and then bring it back up as well. And then we'll just take this vertice here, and we'll just do this. So we have a nice basic shape to the gun. This will stay fine. That's all good. Uh, we'll take this right here. We'll kind of maybe stretch it out a little bit, like that, to give it that little curve to the back. And then this will bring up a little bit. We might add that a little bit later standard shape. I like that. I like this a lot. This is really nice. Uh, we can just keep that the way it is. So now we basically have the gun set up. Now from here, what you do is you put your little cursor there, shift A, add a cylinder, scale it down, rotate Y 90, bring it in. Now the actual gun itself, the barrel is a little bit smaller than the actual things. It's a little bit too small. So you want to just make it right to the edge of there. 
Just like that. Mm, right there. Okay, so I'm trying to get a computer from uh, Ironside, by the way, or not Ironside, uh, Digital Storm. And I'm trying to find which one I want to get, but you know, they're, they're, it's either an $800 one where it's it's not going to be great because that's exactly how they how they do it. They say uh, get this one; it'll be the best one you can buy. And then they start to push the uh, then it's immediately a double price computer. I'm not, I'm just I don't know which one I want to get. And uh, the reviews are pretty good. You know, people say they really like it from there, so I, I'm kind of set on getting it from there. But you know, you you guys can let me know if you've purchased. A computer from there from them let's take this and this and bring that up like that and even though they're not straight it's fine uh, so now we have a nice nice look to it that looks sexy really nice really nice gun right there the, the clips decent it's it's all right it, we'll, we'll leave it the way it is um, we'll take this shift a check calling their customer service by the way and uh, they never answered uh, Called them twice, by the way. So um, let's put this like this. Put that up. Do that. And we can kind of bring this up a little bit. We'll adjust those little peg things to make this a little bit lower. Just like that. Perfect. That's a perfect height. Okay. Now loop cut here. I like to do the loop cut here and then do another loop cut after, so it doesn't have this such a big effect of the uh, the cylinder head here. So we'll scale that. Scale that up like this. Just like that. Oh, what did I just do? Just like that. Perfect. So now we got a nice, nice look to the gun. Just like that. It looks really nice. Uh, and in the back, we have. It's it's not really a big jump up to this thing, but what we you want to do is you want to kind of take this and then scale it a little bit. Like, mm, see, that's why I like to add the two rings. Put another one there. See, that one's a, that was a mistake there. So let's add another ring right next to it. And then you kind of want to scale that one down a little bit like that. So it makes it look a little more realistic. Like that. So mm, I'm really liking that look there. Kind of want to make it bigger and then 